Hey, my name is Alec. I've been a freelancer since 2018, and right now I'm charging about $85 an hour on my projects. But I've come to realize there's only really two ways, if you look at it really simply and objectively, to make six figures as a freelance web developer. Uh, whenever you're trying to make money, you're either trying to get a few people to pay you a lot of money, or you're trying to get a lot of people to pay you not a lot of money. You're either competing on high margins or high volume with low margins. If you get one person to pay you for a website this month, okay, pays you $10,000, you need to make one website. If you need to find five people who are going to give you $2,000 or maybe even 10 people who give you $1,000, technically in both cases, you're getting 10,000. But here's the catch. The thing is, it takes you more time and a little bit more skill to find someone who's willing to pay you $10,000 than to find someone who's going to pay you 2,000 or $1,000. But what takes even more time than that is having to make five times as many websites and having to handle five times or 10 times as many clients, depending on whether or not you're charging a thousand or 2000 or even 500. And I'm going to be honest for a lot of people, it's going to be better for you to work with low paying clients and high paying clients. But what I'm finding is a lot of people are trying to work with low paying clients for the wrong reasons, because they have the wrong assumptions about freelancing, about what it is to work with high paying clients. The, the good advantages of working with high paying clients is that it, overall, it takes you way less time to make the same amount of money because, you know, building 10 websites for $1,000 takes you way more time than one website for $10,000. Even if you spend more hours on it to make sure it's perfect, there's only so many hours realistically that you're going to put in most websites. So... What happens is that low paying clients, people who go after low paying clients often end up to make six figure having to work things like 60 hour weeks or, you know, overtime. And for me, in my situation, the reason I went after high paying clients right from the start is first of all, I knew they were available to get even if you're a beginner, but also my dream since I was in high school was to work part-time. Um, and the reason for that is that when I was in high school, when I was in primary school, I saw my father going to work every morning, just being exhausted. He, he just woke up, he was already exhausted. He didn't, he didn't wanna go there. I, I saw his look in his face, not being interested. He had to do these uh, overtime and you know, I really love my father. Uh, I didn't get to spend as much time as I wanted to spend with him. And really looking at, at him made me kind of fear getting a job. And I sort of spent my whole college trying to figure out a way to work as little as possible. And I think that if you really want to work for money and it's not your passion, the ability to be able to make more money in less time is something that's going to allow you to live your, your passion. Because if your passion is not this work, you should be able to find a way to have time for your passion. And I think that especially if you have a family, look, I wish my father had this type of work where he could work part-time and make full-time income. And when it comes to freelance web development, it's incredibly difficult to get that with low paying clients. I think there's great reasons to work with low paying clients. I mean, for me, I really love karate gyms. I mean, I think the, the people you work with are awesome. You know, uh, whenever we contact karate gyms or get contacted by them, we're always like working with the owner, you know, they're small businesses and the person who's talking with us is like 
always the old karate sensei. These guys are so amazing. Like, uh, and, and what's really impressive is, you, you know, people are people. They're all different, but these guys are different too. And they're always like, they always have these eccentric personalities. Love working with them. If you find people that you want to work with, if you specialize in working with your version of karate gyms, working with your um, perfect clients, people you just love to be around, people you just love to work with, uh, you know, having fun through work has a value in itself and if you can find that i mean all more power to you like go find low paying clients if you want to make an impact you know working with maybe nonprofits you know it, it's they don't tend to have a lot of money to spend on big expensive websites and one of the biggest misconceptions people have about high paying jobs is they think that you start with low paying jobs and you move your way up over time to finally getting high paying jobs. The problem with that is that you have to understand that marketing that attracts low paying clients pushes away high paying clients and marketing that attracts high paying clients pushes away low paying clients. So it's going to sound counterintuitive, but the better you are at finding low paying clients, the harder it's going to be for you to find high paying clients. One example, you build your website, you build your portfolio, you spend years building the best websites possible for people who have low budgets. You're not building the best websites in the world. You just build websites that are adequate, that are good enough uh, for their price point. So what happens is that you build this portfolio on your website. Uh, that has a lot of websites that look okay, you know, that they look good, but not that good. And people who have low budgets look at that and they're like, oh, wow, I would love to have a website like that for not a lot of money. And they're going to be contacting you. They're going to want to be working with you. And this portfolio is going to help you um, land these clients because you're going to be able to show that, hey, I have this website that this person didn't pay a lot of money, but you know, it's still pretty good and did get themselves. So I can do that for you. So the, the products delivered are not medium quality because you're not that good, but because you can't spend that much time and energy into making them as good as what someone who's fishing for a, for a developer that can make the best websites possible you know they look at that portfolio and they think it's not for me this guy is not building the stuff that i'm looking for and they're going to look at the portfolio of another website of someone who is focused on just making websites for these highly paying brands and companies and they're going to look at this and they're going to be like oh this is exactly the type of websites i'm looking for I'm going to contact this person. And on the other end, like the low paying clients, look at this website from the freelancer that works with high paying clients. And they look at this and they're like, oh my God, I could never afford a website like this. So it pushes them away. Whatever marketing you're making, if marketing that attracts a type of customer pushes away others, think about what you want. Think about the life you want to live. How much time how many hours a week do you want to be working? It's way easier to make full-time income working part-time with high-paying clients. At the same time, if you find some types of companies that you really would like to work with, that are actually low-paying clients or that their values are aligned, their missions are aligned, and you just want to make a change in the world and help some of the nonprofits out there, if that's what you want to do, you just want to work with a lot of these people, you just love it like you can go with low paying clients obviously you can spend a lot of hours a week working with high paying clients that's just the recipe for making the most amount of money possible as a freelancer if your goal is just to get rich but identify your goal identify what the best life you can live looks like and then choose the method that you need to get to reach that goal